Our goal is that elections should reflect the will of the people, and a drawing to determine the winner of election, while legally required, is an action of last resort. Therefore, questions regarding the election should be resolved before any drawing. Yesterday, the court denied that request, and the election therefore remains a tie, 11,607 votes apiece. Madam Vice Chair, if you'll pull your canister. And the bowl is empty. <laughs> The winner of House District 94 is David Yancey. Mm. I was prepared for anything. You know, I, I, I had to be emotionally prepared. And I am an experienced politician. I've been elected since 2012 to the school board. I've run several times. So I know what it's like to win, and I know what it's like to lose. And, um, you know, for me, I'm in this for the long run. Yesterday, I offered my opponent a deal that would have made this final. He did not take the deal. And therefore, for me, all options are still on the table. I think, first of all, the takeaway from today is that uh, we will be in the majority the first day. Uh, I would argue that over the years, uh, we've done a very good job in the majority. David works extremely hard. He's uh, a delegate that I'm extremely proud of. I think he's done a tremendous job and will represent the folks in the 94th well. Uh, obviously a very long, arduous process, but very happy with the results. And so now he has the certification. So but I think the key point we want to make here, it is time to move forward.